Hello and welcome to part six of Let's Play Reading Blaster ages nine to twelve I mean ages six to nine and here we go. Make another sticker baby. Like a new sticker. New! I would try the big square sticker. Erase. Flop. Erase. Flop. Flip. 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 Flip them upside down. Flop. Erase. I'm gonna flip flop. Bigger. Smaller. Erase. Erase. Flop. 
flop. Flip, flip, flop. Bigger, bigger. Smaller, smaller. Erase. 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 Exchanging glances. We need you to make a commercial to play later on in the show. Do it. Choose a product for your commercial. Pick a name Star for your Screamer. product. Astro Blast Star Screamer. Choose a background for your commercial. Choose some music for your commercial. <laughs> Click the clapper buttons to see all your choices. Check out this cool car I'm carrying in my coat. This baby comes complete with bunk beds and personal stereos. Dump your rocket and empty your pocket today. Looks like a good one. I can't wait to see it. Hello, readers, and welcome to the show. I'm Johnny Lightspeed, here for the challenge of the Reading Gladiators. Where intergalactic contestants will compete for thrilling installments to the Reading Blaster Adventure Stories. Now, let's meet our players one on one. This Reading Gladiator is known throughout the galaxy for her heroic problem solving and leadership. Let's hear it for player number one, Galactic Commander. And readers, you all know today's second player. She's mean, she's rude, and she's got an attitude. Please welcome Illitera. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, humans and creatures alike, let's give an out of this world welcome to our hosts, Ike and Rita! <laughs> I'm Ike. I'm Rita. And let me tell you this, it is our distinct pleasure to host the most amazing, incredible, mind-boggling reading adventure show ever created. The, the Challenge, Challenge of, of the, the Reading Gladiators. <laughs> okay, players, it's Word zapping time! The game where you'll put your spelling skills to the test. Are you ready? Are you kidding? This is more fun than piloting a starship That's through the Milky great. Way! There you have it, readers! Let's go check out the action! Do it. Ten, up! Oh, 
Remember, shoot down any letters that don't belong in the work. But you've got to protect the good letters. And don't let anything happen to those ships. Make a word that rhymes with French.
I can't wait to see how this one turns out. It's exciting. Educational. It's exciting. Educational. Oh, it's, it's, it's educational. Oh. Hello. Hi there. And welcome back to the game show that's exciting. And educational. Our next game is Media Madness. By the way, Ike, why do we call it Media Madness? Because the media makes us mad. <laughs> Welcome back, Illitera. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? When I finish wiping the floor with the competition, everyone will know that I'm the greatest gladiator champion of them all. All righty then. Off we go. You're not, you're not gonna win this time, Illitera. Whoa! This is a scary story! Match the sentences you read with the sounds you hear. Match the sentences you read with the sounds you hear. on the words that are planets. Beautiful! You got all ten! Great job! Boy, this is a great match! It's my turn to read. Don't! That's not fair. I wasn't finished. Read on. And you two can earn enough points to win this installment of the Reading Blaster Adventure. Oh, Rita is absolutely right. It's really cool. And it's my turn to read it again. No, it's not. It's mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> you know, Ike, it's time for my favorite part of every show. Oh, really? And, uh, what part is that? Well, maybe you should tell him. Get a clue! One fan can open the door to the puzzle room. Follow the clues and you'll find that fan. Let's go to that puzzle room! Players, you're about to match wits with the mighty minds of the famous Reading Gladiator Puzzle Makers. Just remember these three words. Relationships are everything! Go. Be 
These three will you can travel using these three. These three you can try these you can try these three words start with the same letter. Okay, that was great! Now let's do another one for time! The faster you solve this puzzle, the more points you'll get! <laughs> Good luck! You beat the clock! That'll earn you a speed bonus! Boy, that competition really heated up today, didn't it? Oh, you betcha! Hey, don't go anywhere, folks, because we'll be right back! Psst! Check out this cool car I'm carrying in my coat. This baby comes complete with bunk beds and personal stereos. Dump your rocket and empty your pocket today. Whoa! Powerful stuff, eh, Rita? Ah! I could watch that one over and over. Okay, folks. It's time for the final showdown. So, let's chat with our players one last time. Good luck, Galactic Commander. You know we'll be pulling for you. Ike? Rita, it's gonna be a tough race, but I'm ready to go. Well, Lilitera, <laughs> any last words? Yeah, before you, uh, <clears throat> uh lose miserably. <laughs> <laughs> Just that the two of you are living proof that two heads are worse than one. <laughs> and by the way, the word lose is not in my vocabulary. Well? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay, player one. Good luck, gladiators! Now, take your mark, set, It looks like our gladiators are having as much fun as we are. I think so, Rita. We're seeing a lot of great reading action today. Congratulations to all our competitors on an exciting match. Until next time, it's Ike and Rita wishing you happy reading adventures. And now, Johnny, tell us about those prizes. Well, our lucky player has won the gripping final chapter to the adventure story everyone is talking about, The Panther and the Dragon! Yeah! And congratulations! You've been reading so well, the next time you sign in, you'll be playing at the hard level! Click on the book button to read your Reading Blaster Adventure Story. Silver Click button. the metal button to Silver see Silver your Silver certificate. Silver. At, least, at least Silver's better than nothing, I mean. But let's look at the last chapter of this book. Chapter 3 The pals ran through the doorway. Look at this statue, said Ellen. The stone statue of the dragon was holding a bell. A small silver hammer was hanging nearby. The pals ran through the doorway. Look at this statue, said Ellen. The stone statue of the dragon was holding a bell. A small silver hammer was hanging nearby. Ellen read a note tied to the bell. This note says that if we ring the bell, the dragon will help us find water. Ellen read a note tied to the bell. This note says that if we ring the bell, the dragon will help us find water. No problem, said Blasternot. No problem, said Blasternot. He hit the bell with the hammer. 
The stone dragon opened its eyes. He hit the bell with the hammer. The stone dragon opened its eyes. The dragon opened its wings and started to fly away. Ellen read more of the note. Wait a minute. We were we were supposed to give it to give it to Semero, she said. Ellen picked up a large green emerald from the floor. I'll take that, said GC. She climbed to the top of the wall and grabbed the dragon's claw as it flew past. The dragon opened its wings and started to fly away. Ellen read more of the note. Wait a minute. We were supposed to give it this emerald, she said. Ellen picked up a large green emerald from the floor. I'll take that, said GC. She climbed to the top of the wall and grabbed the dragon's claw as it flew past. GC climbed up onto the dragon's back. Soon, the dragon was flying through, through the clouds. GC held onto the dragon's neck. The dragon turned to look at GC. GC climbed up onto the dragon's back. Soon, the dragon was flying through the clouds. GC held onto the dragon's neck. The dragon turned to look at GC. GC climbed over the dragon's nose and showed it the emerald. The emerald glowed and the dragon smiled. Thanks, he said. I have waited years for my emerald to be returned. Can you help us find water? asked GC. You'll find out. The dragon answered. GC climbed over the dragon's nose and showed it the emerald. The emerald glowed and the dragon smiled. Thanks, he said. I have waited years for my emerald to be returned. Can you help us find water? asked GC. You'll find out, the dragon answered. The dragon flew down to the mountain. He blew fire from his mouth and the entire mountain shook. Suddenly, the top of the mountain exploded with lava. I asked for a wa for water, not a volcano, yelled, uh, yelled GC. The dragon flew down to the mountain. He blew fire from his mouth and the entire mountain shook. Suddenly, the top of the mountain exploded with lava. I asked for water, not a volcano, yelled GC. The dragon flew into the smoke. The blaster knot in his cheek and his friends were sure GC was lost. When the smoke cleared, Blaster's not thought the, that the volcano was quiet. The explosion had made a hole in the top of the mountain. Look, said Ellen, the, the clouds could get to the other side of the mountain. By the time GC joined her friends back in the vi Ellen's village, the rain was falling. The village was happy again. Blaster not and his friends, the dragon flew into the smoke. Blaster not and his friends were sure GC was lost. When the smoke cleared, Blasternaut saw that the volcano was quiet. The explosion had made a hole in the top of the mountain. The clouds can look, said Ellen. The clouds can get the clouds can get to the other side of the mountain. By the time GC joined her friends back in Ellen's village, the rain was falling. The village was happy again. That's the it. end. Go to the table of contents. There, you can read some more, or leave the story reader. We house the Panther and the Dragon. Well, Click on the book button to read. Click on the book button. Oh. What's the matter?